Hello, I'm Mr. Zed, here to make an appeal on behalf of the Mr. Zed Show. Please, watch it generously. It means so much to those who know so little. <laughs> Mr. Zed, Mr. Zed, are you there? You better be there, because I'm about to make you an offer you can't refuse. Here I am, Big Al. What's up? Well, as you know, I have taken an interest in the Oith as of late, and it occurs to me that considering the kind of planet you got there, you need insurance in a big way. Just what kind of insurance did you have in mind, Al? Pole insurance. It appears that something has come up that, that demands my immediate attention. I'll get back to you later. Big Al with his insurance schemes. What will he think of next? Mr. Z, I've another call coming in from you. It's Splooty this time. Do you want to take it? Yeah, sure. What's the spread in your head, Mr. Z? Big Al just called. He wanted to sell me some more insurance. What kind was he trying to sell you this time? He had to go before he could explain, but he said it had something to do with poles. Maybe he wanted to insure Poland. Yeah, or maybe he wanted to insure us against evil pole vaulters. <laughs> Knowing Big Al, it might have been something political. Or maybe he was just being polite. Oh, I hope this is it. I hope he was being polite. Why? Because it's got a third less calories than a regular pole. <laughs> <laughs> maybe he should take a policy on himself against being arrested by the police. <laughs> <laughs> you two just don't have a clue, do you? What do you mean? What I mean is that fossil evidence indicates that the Earth's magnetic poles switch about once every 500,000 years. So? So, the last time they switched was approximately 780,000 years ago. I guess that means that we're about 280,000 years late. Hey, great counting there, Mr. Zed. Will wonders never cease? Won't that mess up the migrations of fish and birds and bugs? They do find their way following the magnetic fields of the Earth, but they can't really tell the difference between North and South Poles. So if they switch, it won't make that much difference to them. Those most affected will be people like us. Like us? You mean robots and computers? And satellites. Why us? Because among other things, the Earth's magnetic field works as a shield against the solar wind. Solar wind? Oh, I know what you mean. You mean a constant stream of particles emitted by your sun. Right. And since computers break everything down into a one or a naught, a straight particle landing on a chip could change a zero or a one, or vice versa. Satellites bombarded with these particles could mistake them for orders from Earth. There's no end to the confusion this could create, I'm afraid. Cool! I mean, uh, I mean, bummer. What effect would it have on regular Earth people? We don't know, really. It should interrupt FM and ham radio signals, but as far as affecting people, we don't know. If I was a human, I wouldn't worry about it. The magnetic fields created by a washing machine are way stronger than that created by the Earth. And people use them all the time. Gee, Mona, do you think we should consider buying poll insurance from Big Al just to be on the safe side? Give me a break. No. Say goodbye, Mr. Zed. Goodbye, Mr. Zed. See you next time. Aloha. You know, every year, thousands suffer needlessly from not watching The Mr. Zed Show. Please, don't be one of them.